Miss Ginger. I'm a priest with the Celtic Christian Church. Welcome to Coffee Break Prayer. I keep glancing down because I have a piece of yarn in front of me that is all knotted. And so my hands want to just keep tugging and pulling and tugging and pulling. And um, it's kind of a fun way to fidget. And it's part of my determination to have less boring photos at the beginning of, oh, look at that. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me. And let's begin as always in the name of Abba, our creator, Jesus, our liberator and spirit who is holy. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love and forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. Holy Spirit, help us to pray. Help us to relax into your loving presence in our lives or to tent up or whatever you need us to do in our lives. Um, not pent up in a bad way, but as in, you know, activating the muscles for whatever we need. But now, in this moment, please help us as we take a couple deep breaths to come back to now, to make a little more room in our minds and our even our bodies, to make a little more room for you to love us. Friend, I invite you to take the deep breath with me. The first one just to, um, for me at least, the first is always sort of just to remind myself, oh yeah, we're praying now. And the second one, try to notice where we are. You don't have to change um, anything. You don't have to move your hands or sit a certain way, although some people enjoy um, certain things. I, I've taken yoga classes for a million years, so... Sometimes my shoulders just automatically lean back and down, whatever. But the point is, is less to reach a certain specific posture than to be present to this moment. So the question to ask is, what does this breath feel like? What does it feel like to be me in this moment? Okay, so let's take those two breaths together, just kind of being present. Thank you, friend. One thing I noticed as I reflected in that brief prayer on what does it mean to be me in this moment? First of all, we do this again, in case you're new to coffee break prayer. We do this this mindfulness, um, not for its own sake, but because Jesus is Emmanuel, God with us, right here, right now. So we come back to now to help ground ourselves, come back to the sacrament of this moment where God encounters us. One of the things I noticed was, even though I had uh, put my little bit of knotted yarn off to the side, I found myself gripping my um, my thumb, my right thumb with my left hand, kind of squeezing. So to me, that's still like a little bit of pulling out a knot somehow. Um, I had a couple of aggravating things happen this morning. And anything that happened in my life, no matter how um, stressful or aggravating it may feel to me. When I read the newspaper, I realize, you know, we are in a pretty naughty world. So if you're wondering how to untangle this or that in your life, um, let's ask God's grace. And also let's pray for those with the opportunity to bring healing to the larger societal issues like war right? Like disease spreading, like misinformation in the world. There are lots of people working and praying and studying, thinking about how to help us um, value truth, right? How do we, how do we um, begin a conversation based on facts when we, we can't agree on just the absolute basics, right? So, Lots of people are on trying and working and thinking and praying to untangle these knots. So let's pray for them as well. Holy Spirit, I invite your wisdom 
We thank you for being the um, motor oil in our gears to keep things moving. We thank you for being the, the breath of life that keeps our lungs opening. In and out, we share your breath. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for breathing us into life. Help us to um, trust you more. To be okay with the tangled nature that is, that is life. Um, we'll never have everything done. Everything will never be figured out. And help us to find a certain peace with that. Also, we lift up. In a special way, not only the things that, well, first of all, I ask you to bless those who are praying with me, whatever is troubling their hearts this day, whatever knots are, feel like they're just entangled in or tightening around them. I pray that you loosen those knots, that you set them free, that you help them to find this space to work in and around the what seems like impossible knots so that you can set Set them free. We also lift up those who are thinking and working and praying and striving toward for solving the knots that entangle us all. Um, I especially lift up those who are working towards peace in the Sudan, in Yemen, in Afghanistan, in Ukraine, all over the world, that there would be these people would have the wisdom to find ways around the knots. Find that little spot where you can just give a gentle tug and whoo, there's more space. Help us to find the room for peace. Bless those who are in positions, uh, who are in places where they can have a positive impact toward, toward peace. We ask your blessing on them that their minds would be clear, they would have um, a calm spirit to receive your inspiration and courage. Truth often requires courage, even just to acknowledge it, much less than speak it aloud to somebody else. So we pray for the grace, the gift of courage for ourselves and in particular for those who are in places where they could have a positive impact on peace in the world. We ask all this in Jesus' name, because he loves us, and he is the God of victory. Amen. Well, my friend, I ask God's blessing on you today. May you are not loosen. May you find the room to, to wiggle around a bit and to find just the right spot to pull or tug, and may you experience grace today in the midst of the not. Be blessed, dear one, in the name of Abba, our Creator, Jesus, our Liberator, and the Spirit who is holy. Amen.